We start with a developing story out of Gresham tonight. Yet another shooting to report. In this case, four people in the hospital now after a shooting at a motel in Gresham. And the shooter is still on the loose. Let's switch to Liz Birch on the scene at the Golden Knight Motel. I know, Liz, you talked to police and a person who works there. What's the latest? Well, within the last half hour, when we last checked in with you, we've seen the incident command show up here on scene. We've also seen police patrolling the scene with canyon units, and we've also seen another car towed away here. Now, about those victims, I can tell you one of them is fighting for their life. They're in critical condition. Two were in surgery, and a fourth is in a trauma unit right now. Police say some of the shooting happened inside a room and some in the parking lot. At about... Uh, 2.30, 2.45, there was a commotion, like a, uh, a confrontation, sounded like it was towards the front of the building. Mitchell says he stays and works here at the motel. He says his girlfriend woke up to gunfire. My lady friend said she heard uh, like five, maybe six gunshots, mm -hmm. and uh, they sounded like they were coming from the front. Mitchell says police were there in about 10 minutes. So we just sat here and waited, and then the police came and pounded on every door mm -hmm. to make sure that everybody was okay. I guess some bullets uh, went through the building on the south side. And we interviewed everybody in the hotel, right? knocked on every door. Officer Adam Baker calls this a complex investigation. He says it's just one of several incidents this week and says they've seen an increase in gun violence in Gresham. I asked him when that started. I know there has been an uptick. Um, just looking at the numbers, you know, probably from fall on, we've noticed it. It is a, a, a noted increase. Some of that is likely kind of bleed over from Portland. We're all in the same metropolitan area. He says they're in talks now with Sheriff Mike Reese with the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office about how to address the growing issue. For now, they're getting help with OSP on this specific investigation. Bringing you back out here live to the scene again. Police say they don't know who the shooter or shooters could be. They're asking for anyone with information to come forward on this case. Back to you.